This stunning gladiatorial amphitheatre here at Alexandra Palace has been home to the Masters since 2012. And for those seven short years, this place has witnessed drama and magic that has become etched indelibly in the history of the game. However, the history makers that have taken part in this great championship are just a small part of the legacy of this great palace. Alexandra Palace is being transformed and the East Wing restoration project is already underway. With a budget of almost £30 million, the task they face, like this place, is huge. The total cost gives you an idea of the scale of the work that's been carried out to restore some of the palace's most historic parts to their former glory. I caught up with the Deputy Chief Executive Emma Darkness here at Alexandra Palace to take a look around at the ongoing restoration. Well, we're very excited about this project because what this will allow us to do is welcome people into a space where you'll be able to just be at Alexandra Palace, hopefully working from your laptop, grabbing a coffee from the cafe or coming into our creative learning zone. OK, well, show us the rest of it, please. I will do. Please follow me. This is our beautiful Victorian theatre, which opened in 1875, but it fell into dereliction quite quickly. So actually it's been lost to three generations, so nearly wow. 90 years um, it has been hidden from the public. So we've got this real amazing opportunity now to give it back. The plan is that we are actually keeping it as arrested decay because of the fact that it wasn't ever a shiny theatre as such. It wouldn't really be true to the space if we started to break open the gold leaf. Incredible. Are we going to the top? We are. Oh no. <laughs> so this is it then, eh? Up at the ceiling. We are almost as high as we can go. We will be almost. taking you a little bit higher, oh. but I promise that will be it. But this reveals our beautiful decorative ceiling, which we are now um, putting a lot of effort into restoring. You, you, you are kidding me, we can't go any higher than this. This we is can, the roof. We can always go a little bit higher at Alexandra Palace. <laughs> we are now in the void above the decorative ceiling. So what's going on underneath our feet is the consolidation of that ceiling, which ultimately is part of Paris with a right. mesh. And then above that, you can see that we've got these incredible steels that have gone in, the truss ends, we call them, and they have been fabricated to each individual timber that goes across this vast space above the ceiling. So it's not going anywhere? It's not going anywhere. So for the likes of this wall, um, what do you do to preserve this? Well, it's actually quite a complicated process to actually ensure that it stays looking exactly as it does at the moment. But ultimately, um, we have professionals that come in and they will put um, a resin, a very clear, fine resin over the wall, which ultimately encapsulates what you see today, but also stops it from decaying any further. So you've taken me to the heights, now I'm taking me in the basement. That's right. We're going to show you So where are we now? So we are now underneath the theatre stage and what you can see in front of you is the most extraordinary example of Victorian wooden working stage machinery. Um, and the way it would have worked is that you have these traps that you can see to either side and your performers would have sat in the traps and then they would have been levered through the stage to shoot up above as part of the performance. So back here in the warm, you've made me a nice cup of tea. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we've, we've scratched the surface of having a look and it was fantastic what you showed me around the place, but you must have found other things. Well, that is one of the extraordinary stories of this restoration project because as part of it we have found our collection and archive that we thought we lost in the fire, which was 5,000 items of history of Alexandra Palace with some extraordinary finds, um, including Cecil Madden, who was one of the BBC's first television producers. All of his notations, notebooks, memoirs are, are in the collection. Um, but we also found things that we believe potentially to be Owen Jones' original drawing 
drawings, which we're now having um, verified. And the story just goes on. And we were very fortunate that um, Google Arts and Culture shipped one of only seven scanners in the world to Alexandra Palace, which meant that we've been able to scan every single one of those items. And that's also taught us about the hidden history of Alexandra Palace that we didn't know. So for example, we were able, because of the resolution, to see posters in the back of the photographs that told us that when it was an internee camp, internees were actually being shown news footage from Europe during the First World War about what was happening in their home countries. So some real extraordinary stories that are being told through our collection and archive. Well, it's been absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. But I've got to go because I've got a final to see too, so I'll see you later. Thank you.